When it comes to stopping the spread of a contagious disease, testing is essential. And speed is key. But to my knowledge, none of us have ever been told to slow down on testing. That just is a fact. One strategy to identify and isolate those infected more quickly is an approach called pool testing. How it works is pretty simple. Technicians take samples from a group of people, say 20, and combine them into a big pool. They then use just one test to determine if any one of the 20 people is infected. If the test comes back negative, researchers can move on to a new group of people. If it comes back positive, each person can be tested individually. This approach lets officials test more people with fewer resources. And it could be particularly helpful when someone without symptoms is quietly spreading an infection. One of the key things, as Tony mentioned, is surveillance, expanding surveillance because of the asymptomatic nature of this infection. And in doing so, we're looking at ways that can really substantially enhance testing by potentially pooling samples. So right now, as Gerard said, we're doing 500,000, 600,000 tests a day. If we can pool samples five to one, that would bring it to three million tests a day. So we're continuing to try to enhance testing. It's a critical underpinning of our response.